In the exhibition, you can see five of my grandmother's dream diaries, but those were only five from a total of about 300 that she dreamt later in her life about her childhood home in Bruno, then Czechoslovakia. And those 300 are taken from a much larger group of about 20,000 pages worth of dreams that she recorded from about age 40 to the end of her life in her 80s. I thought of the video game at the beginning as being a kind of orientation device. In the video game, you navigate through the villa and find five diary pages that correspond to the ones that are later enacted in the film. And alongside those pages, uh, an object will pop up. And this object is a little bit of a mascot of that dream that also appears later in the enacted version of the dreams. So these objects, which in the video game are fully rendered in detail and color in an otherwise gray boxed world, later pop up in the film as gray objects in a full color world. And they act a little bit like portals or wormholes between the two moving image pieces. The medium of film already sutures together different times and places. Um, it's kind of holding container that can receive um, different temporalities, that can edit between one room and the next, between inside and outside, etc. I think it's um, one of the most apt media to translate dreams, which also jump from place to place. Film is a medium that captures uh, a space of reverie very well, but it also can ground that reverie in palpable, tangible, concrete details. Um, I mean, it's literally a stream of light, but it carries a lot of heft and weight with it as well, I think. It's a whole world that's created. The selection of the five dreams focus on a kind of constructed narrative across the five. It replicates my grandmother's own experience having to flee Czechoslovakia as a young Jewish girl with her industrialist parents just prior to the Nazi invasion. The whole exhibition plays with this question of access and denial of access throughout. Um, so you can see the archive of 300 pages, but you're not quite close enough to be able to read it. At the very end of the show, one can read the five dreams from which the film is constructed. So you do have some contact, but mostly you're denied that contact. This is to hint at the paradox of making something public out of uh, a body of material that is by nature so private. And perhaps the fact that the pages are not always accessible also hints at the fact that I don't always have full access to the true meaning of the dreams. What I offer is just an interpretation of them. Through reconstructing the five dreams and reinserting them into her childhood home, I've reinvested the dreams with body and life and emotion in an attempt to restore to the house her history and her emotional experience. So although my grandmother is one protagonist of the exhibition, her house is the other. 